Good evening and welcome to your Friday night KRQE.com webcast. We begin with Mark Ronchetti and the weather forecast. Well, showers right now, Diane, continue to sit across the southern part of the state. What's going to happen for us over the next 24 hours is low pressure to our west will push in. That will continue to lift the moisture in the atmosphere and wring it out over us as we push throughout the day tomorrow. Scattered showers pretty much statewide. Temperatures, 70s and 80s to the north, 80s in central and southern sections. We will start to dry out by Sunday. The ex-boyfriend of a missing Corrales woman found dead in Socorro is now charged with her murder. Sandra Sanchez's body was found nearly two weeks ago in Water Canyon. The last time anyone saw her was April 3rd on surveillance video in a Los Lunas Walgreens. Just after noon Friday, her former boyfriend, Joe Easley, turned himself in to Los Lunas police. He is facing an open count of murder. Los Lunas police got an arrest warrant for Easley on Thursday. They've long considered him a suspect, but it wasn't until Thursday evening that they felt they had gathered enough evidence to make it a rock-solid case. State police found four sets of human remains inside a car that had been submerged in Cochiti Lake for at least a year. Albuquerque police believe the car may be connected to an Albuquerque man accused of abducting his three sons during a weekend custody visit back in 2001. Albuquerque police spokeswoman Nadine Hamby says the car is registered to Richard Sanchez, who is accused of kidnapping his three sons, and she says it is too early, though, to confirm who was in the car. The Office of the Medical Investigator, though, is working on that. A positive ID is expected within 48 hours. Join us for more on News 13 tonight at 10.